And we've seen some water clarity changes over that time. We started maybe around 13 feet of visibility when we first started, which is not great, but is still uh, one of the clearest lakes in the county. An interesting thing happened when we had that idle speed restriction, sort of a natural experiment, which was really great, because I've always wondered what is causing that low clarity that we get in the middle of the summer. There's several different hypotheses that we could have, but we don't know for sure. And I was never going to be able to get everybody off the lake with their boats for a couple of weeks to find out, right? But the DNR took care of that for us. And so we had this great, this great experiment, the highest, and then it dropped to around 8 feet during this restriction. So what does that tell me? If we have a low dip in our visibility, well, we know it wasn't boat traffic, right? That was pretty limited to co compared to what it normally is. It wasn't seawalls. We didn't have a lot of storms during the restriction time before that. Certainly we had a lot of storms, but during the restriction time, not as many. Streams, the streams, we've been measuring the streams. They started to slow down during that restriction time, which is why the water level was able to come down. Algae, on the other hand, was really on the increase, and primarily blue-green algae was the type of algae because we've been measuring the algae every time. Water temperature spike, that was the highest water temperature that we recorded in Lake Wawasee of the summer was during that restriction and that algae just loved that warm, stagnant sort of an environment and it really took off growing. And so we can, we can know that that's, that's what uh, caused uh, the clarity decrease and most likely most years uh, that clarity decrease is, is due in large part to the algae that grows. Projects and I can answer questions on any of these but I'm not gonna go in great detail. We've been looking at how we can for forecast blue-green algae uh, in, in Lake Wawasee by looking at the stream inflows over the spring months. We've been looking at how we can work with agriculture towards common lake goals. There's a lot of science involved in how do you talk to farmers, what things are feasible for them to do versus what things are you can bang your head against the wall, talk while you're blue in the face, they're never going to change on. We need to understand those things to see how we can be most effective. Uh, lake water levels we've been looking at. I think Lake Wawasee, looking at some of the previous data we have, was at its highest level ever recorded this past summer. Uh, and I've got a slide on that if anybody wants to ask more about that. Um, we've been looking at year-round sampling of stream inflows, so those four inflows as well as the outflow. Uh, weekly lake sampling I already mentioned. Analysis of potential historical trends. This is something that we're going to be working on over this fall and winter. Can we look at historical trends on Wawasee over time? And more to come. We've been looking at uh, boats stirring up things. We've been looking at um, where is the most nutrients coming from, from that stream sampling. Uh, we can look at shoreline plantings. There's lots of, lots of more things that we have planned.